Hi, this is Al Moda of Al Moda Reports, September 4th, 2020. And is, this is a uh, memorial video for David E. Goldberg, who gave up his life to tell the truth on what's going on in the world. So this is a little tribute to him. They're going to allow my child to exist, and there's a reason for it, and we'll get into what that reason is. And there are smart people who are listening now who may be able to figure out what that is. It is the same reason, it is the same reason that, that you were told about 9-11 before it happened. You were told about it through different media outlets, through different, what are called, well, I guess you would call them Easter eggs. Easter eggs, little, little things that were put into the media before 9-11 that were giving, were giving you clues. And this is something they do. This is part of their Kabbalah belief system. It is known as white balance. It is part of what they do to balance out all the evil that they do. So they're going to let my channel exist, as far as I know, for the time being. Because it is part of their, I guess you could say, is atonement or for what they're, they're doing. So they're going to allow it to exist. They always tell the truth about what they're going to do. They just know that the, the sheep are so dumb that they won't listen. Just like with 9-11, there were many, many signs that 9-11 was coming. They even told you that it was coming in a television show called The Lone Gunman on Fox. This television show, although it was about six months before 9-11, they aired an episode in which they showed the entire thing happen. The Twin Towers were attacked in the episode. And there was a false flag in the television show in the script. Now, we know for a fact that the lone gunman received script ideas from the CIA. That is a fact. Go look it up. So they told you about 9-11 before it was going to happen, and they told you that it would be a false flag. And they're allowing me to tell you that the entire Iran war is fake, it is scripted, and it is a false it is going to be precipitated by a false flag. They're allowing me to tell you the truth because it is part of their religious beliefs that the goyim be told in advance of the evils that they are to be, with that the evils that are to be enacted upon them, that they are told about them. Do you understand what I just told you? I hope you do. I hope you understand the gravity of that. I hope you understand how and why this is all playing out. The Iran war is totally fake. Now, they're talking about threats from Iran. There is no threat from Iran. Why didn't we hear about this two years ago? Why didn't we hear about this a year ago? Why is it that all of a sudden Iran is a threat? That is because this is totally scripted and they've been planning this for years. Now, the timeline has been moved back multiple times because they either screwed up or things didn't go the way they wanted. The timeline has been moved back. But now we are back on track. October, I already said October months ago. Were you paying any attention at all? I said October is the date. That is the timeline. We will see how it plays out, but I do believe October is still the date. Everything that we are seeing now is predictive programming. They are gearing up for war. Now, now, I want to address some of the things that I said in my previous videos. There was a little bit of confusion. I'm watching all this play out. I'm getting information from my White House Insider and from a few other sources. And I'm asking questions. What is going on here? There was a rabbi that was very, very upset with how some of this, the Iran war rollout had come out. Pompeo and Bolton. This rabbi felt that Pompeo and Bolton had made some mistakes because there was a lot of negative feedback at first from the media and from the public 
because the whole rollout looked totally inept. It looked obvious, so the rabbi went crazy. And this, this same rabbi has gone berserk again. You have to understand how much power he has. He has incredible influence. He's considered a religious leader. Netanyahu looks at him as his religious leader. And the same rabbi has come out and he is demanding more troops be sent to the Middle East. And we are already seeing it happen. We are already seeing it happen. I believe that the troop increases will continue. I think as we've been told over the next month or two, we're going to see more troop increases. But we're not going to be told about the true extent. It's going to be more than they are telling. If they say 5,000, it will be more like about 10,000. I have been told they're going to tone down some of those numbers because there is so much public resistance to this. But they are moving troops into the Middle East. They are moving troops toward Iran. It is happening. Before your eyes, the preparation for this war is happening, and you still don't believe it. You are still so completely in denial. There might mean the American people are in total denial about what's going on right now. It will happen. It is going to happen. It, it could lead to World War Three. It could lead to just total denial. I mean, it could be so bad. I fear for my life. I fear for the lives of my family and the people I love. 